Here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, we are home to seven Asian elephants. We have two adult males, four adult females, and then little Frankie. Uh, elephants can live a very long time, and because of that, it is our responsibility to ensure that these animals are thriving in our care. That means a proper social environment, that means an enriching environment, that means uh, an exercise program, that means a good diet. It also means being able to treat them and medically monitor them throughout their entire life. Currently, the biggest threat for Asian elephants is a virus called EEHV. This is a deadly virus and it is important for us to be a step ahead of the game, to, to always be able to take care of the animals and this in-house laboratory is going to allow us to monitor this disease throughout an animal's lifetime. EEHV stands for Elephant Endotheliotropic Herpes Virus. It is a herpes virus like many of the herpes viruses found in other species as well as in humans. The virus can be found in a lot of different elephants. Um, it is found in elephants in their native range as well as under human care. With elephant herpes virus, there are multiple strains and subtypes, but EEHV1A seems to be the most fatal when young juvenile elephants that have not been exposed to the virus are exposed to it for the first time. While EEHV can be asymptomatic in at-risk animals between 1 and 15 years of age, the virus could also be fatal. The virus typically affects the vessels of the body, which results in them becoming leaky with blood and proteins and antibodies leaking out of the vessels and pooling into the body cavities. This can result in cardiovascular shock, compromise, and even with aggressive treatment can result in death. EEHV is a devastating disease. Fortunately, there is a huge collaborative effort, including elephant care professionals, researchers, scientists from around the world that are all working together to determine what makes an elephant more susceptible to the virus, how do we monitor these animals more aggressively, and how do we treat them as appropriately as we can to reduce mortalities. For over 10 years, we have been monitoring our elephants for EEHV through the National Elephant Herpes Virus Lab based at the Smithsonian, which has been a phenomenal collaboration. But knowing that rapid detection is so important, if elephants are not treated aggressively within 48 hours of the presentation of clinical signs, the virus can often result in fatality. We decided to develop a lab here on site at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium which gives us the ability to test our animals more frequently and allows us to know which virus subtypes and strains are being shared by any elephant, which gives us the opportunity to then increase the frequency of testing in our at-risk elephants to initiate treatment as fast as we can. There are many steps required in opening this lab, um, from ordering a lot of equipment to going out to the Smithsonian National Institute Zoo in training with their microbiologists in order to understand the PCR process a little bit better. When we test for EHV, we can test through two different um, ways. We can test whole blood as well as trunk washes. Whole blood results can take about three to four hours while trunk washes can take almost 24. We do a DNA extraction where we wash through those samples in order to create a small DNA sample that we can then put through our PCR plating and amplify through our machine. Our goal of our DNA amplification process is to find a needle in a haystack. If we can find that EHV virus in the samples that are presented to us, the machines that we have behind us can multiply those and amplify them over a million times in order for the machine to then be able to detect them through a fluorescence process. Once the results are complete, we are able to then interpret the data given to us, which helps us to evaluate the status of our herd. The work here by the elephant keepers is amazing. They devote their lives to caring for elephants. The hours and hours and hours of training that they do, the hard work it takes to ensure these animals are thriving. It, it, ne it never stops amazing me. Part of their responsibility with this new laboratory is ensuring that the vets have samples. Uh, these samples are important for diagnostics. Uh, they're also important when we start treating them. Uh, if, in the worst case scenario, an elephant does become ill, uh, these keepers have trained the elephants to be ready for those treatments. They, they, Frankie, at one and a half years old, was providing samples for us, was, was allowing us to treat him if we needed to, uh, which is just a, it just shows the dedication that they, they have. 
So what it means for us having our own laboratory here at the Columbus Zoo is huge for taking care of elephants. Our goal at the zoo is to, is to have a herd of elephants with babies running around, and this laboratory is going to ensure that we are on top of everything. Uh, our partnership with the Smithsonian Zoo still maintains, and we still will be sending samples to them as they are collecting all of the samples and studying this disease. The benefit that we have is mainly for the diagnostic and for the end of, and the responsive piece of it. Before we would take samples and we would uh, have to ship them to the Smithsonian, uh, now we do it all in-house, which is really allows us to respond quicker. Elephants are endangered and an iconic species, and zoos and aquariums around the world are dedicated to their care. We are so proud and fortunate to be part of a network of elephant care professionals, researchers, scientists that are working so diligently and passionately to improve the care of elephants under human care and also in their native range to hopefully ensure the survival of the species.